My name is Joan Snyder and I'm a board member for the Leader to Leader Institute and the Francis Hesselbein Global Academy for Student Leadership and Civic Engagement, which is based at the University of Pittsburgh, my alma mater. This summer, 2010, we welcomed over 50 students from colleges and universities all over the world who were chosen to attend the academy because of their outstanding leadership, not only in the classroom, but in their community. These are students who are passionate about a cause close to their heart and are doing everything within their power to make a difference each and every day. We asked the students to share in two to three minutes a little bit about their leadership, about the cause that they're dedicated to, and what inspires them to be leaders of the future. We hope that you enjoy their stories. The next video is from Stephanie Talamas, a student in Mexico, who shares a story about how she makes a difference for those that are in need in her community. And what she focuses on is providing knowledge and developing skills that will empower these individuals to overcome their challenging situation. Hi, my name is Stephanie Talamas. I'm from the University of Monterey, Mexico. And I'm working in a community in North of Mexico called Azufrosa. It's an ejido, that's the, how the government names a very poor community, where the houses are built of mud and hay. The doors are wooden or chopped wood, and they do not receive water. They receive less than $20 per month by the, youth, the Mexican government. And the children are obliged to go to school by their parents because the government gives them money if they go to school. But they end up dropping out uh, around fifth grade and start working with their parents. It's really sad. So a group of students and I decided to work with the women of that community. And we have found that they produce nopal, which is a um, cactus, that people can eat it. And you can make shampoo out of it, you can make soap. So what we're trying to do is make um, them produce a lot more cactus and sell them. That gives them maybe one more meal or maybe a room or something to cover themselves when it's cold or raining. They're inspired and that's what inspires me too because they want to become better people. And with what we know, that might not be a lot. At least we can help them sell and make a little more money. 